back to Busy Bee Mom. If this is your first time here, my name is Jennifer, and my mission is always to inspire you to be happy, to live full and loved life, as I am being inspired to do the same in my life as well. Can you believe that the holiday season is upon us once again? I just can barely believe how fast the holiday season came around. Like, where did the year go? But it is upon us, and I thought it would be a good idea to come on and share with you some tips on how to have a low-key but memorable Christmas. Now, we've had um, Christmas holidays where we had company come in, and we did a whole bunch of stuff, and everything was just grand. And loved it, but I also appreciate a nice, cozy, low-key, but memorable Christmas and holiday season. So if that is what you're looking for, if that is what you're aiming for, I'm going to give you some tips and some inspiration to make Tip it Tip number happen. one is to set your mind on what the holiday season means to you. This is very important because you can set your mind to say, um, this season, I want to focus on family time, or this season, I want to focus on um, gifts and activities or, or um, special gifts, or you want to focus on activities and experiences, or you may say, um, this holiday season or this Christmas, I want to focus on service. And once you set your mind on what it is that you want um, to pull out of this holiday season or what it is you want your family to get out of this holiday season, it helps to make decisions from that point of view, which leads me to my second tip. My second tip is to decide what you want the family to gleam from this holiday season. So if you say, um, this holiday season, I want to focus on experiences. Then from there, you can say, okay, I really want my family to um, gleam a sense of family. I want some bonding time that'll be memorable. And then from there, you can decide what types of things you're going to focus on. And it helps because you're not feeling like you're trying to do everything. So it helps to kind of have a focus for what it is you want to experience, what it is you want to do, and what it is you want your family to take away from this particular holiday season. And from there, tip number three is to make a plan and stick with it. So going with the example of, let's say you decide, oh, this holiday season, I want experiences and I really want my family to come away with um, feeling a sense of that we bonded together. So from there, you can make a plan to say, okay, in lieu of gifts, or maybe you're gonna downplay the gifts and upplay the experiences and decide, are we gonna stay local? Are we gonna go out of town? Are we gonna put the money that we would have spent on gifts and food into um, a vacation, a staycation? Or are we going to just have some family experiences right in the home? So based on that, you can decide what it is that, how you want this to play out, how you want the experiences to play out. And if you decide you want to um, focus more on gifts, then from there you can focus more attention on the gifts and um, maybe you wanna do something special with how you present the gifts this year and you just focus on that particular thing just to keep you from just being all over the place with your gifts and or being all over the place with your plans and just having um i'm on gifts i'm on experiences i'm on food i'm on all these things if you just take the time and say what is what is it what is it that i want to get out of this what do i want my family to get out of this what do i want sort of the theme to be and then decide how you want that to play out then it helps to just keep everything calm and keep you centered and focused and grounded on exactly what it is you're aiming for just versus just being kind of all over the place. Tip number four is to pace yourself. So if you've decided you want to go for local experiences um, as a way to bond, or if you've decided you really want to um, 
um, give out special gifts, or if you've decided, hey, I just really want to focus on it being low key at home time, or if you decide, hey, I want to focus on service and giving, whatever it is that you decide that you want to focus on, then pace yourself, look at a calendar and say, okay, do we want to spend every day serving? Maybe we want to do um, two or three service activities as a family and pace those out so that you have some time in between to make sure that you have some downtime so that everything isn't just crammed in and go, go, go. Same thing with experiences. You want to make sure that you're building, um, you're pacing yourself, that you maybe don't do too many high intense activities altogether and just look at a calendar and decide after you decide what experiences you want to have to decide okay how do we want this to unfold in a way that will be um that won't be overwhelming to the family gifting ideas you know, you may want to pace out how you want to purchase them maybe you purchase some um at a certain time of the year and some another time of the year and um pacing um, how you want to give them. Do you want to do Christmas Eve? Do you want to do before Christmas, after Christmas, going into the new year and just kind of pace how you want this whole theme that you have established to um, pan out. Even if it's, even if your plan is about um, centered around just spending some low-key time at home, um, you still want, it's still a good idea to look at a calendar, I think, and um, map out what those days are going to look like. And tip number five, this is a personal tip, personal tip of mine is don't go into debt. Don't go into crazy debt trying to do something that you're going to regret in the new year. So, you know, I think that Christmas, the holiday season, in my opinion, should be left right there where it is. It's not something that should follow us into January, February, and March. That is my personal opinion, of course. You know, you do what you want to do. You do what suits you and your family. But for me, I just feel like uh, doing it without going into debt is um, the way to go for us and so with that in mind sometimes that can play a role in deciding what you do and I think that um, a lot of times we think that we have to do something big and something grand and we have to you know have all these gifts and things um, for the holiday season and for Christmas and that's just not the case I think it's all in how you approach it all in how you present it to your family and and it's all about how what your perception is and so that's why I really stress and emphasize going into the holiday season knowing what you want to get out of it what your family wants to get out get out of it is it that this year you want to do um, extravagant gifts and there's nothing wrong with that is do you want to go with experiences do you want to allow this to be a time that your family serves together and whatever that is going into it knowing that that is your goal that is your mission that is your vision for this holiday season from there I think that it makes it a lot easier and more effective to plan out a holiday season a Christmas um, celebration that means more to you that you actually come away from it feeling fulfilled and feeling encouraged and inspired instead of just drained and just wondering where did the days go. But if you kind of frame your holiday season within your vision, within this idea that you have, it helps you to make decisions within the framework of that vision that helps you to just stay low key and calm. So I hope that this video has been beneficial for you. Happy, happy holidays. I hope that you're excited about whatever it is that you have going on with your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching. Have a happy, happy, blessed day. Be happy, live full, love life, and I'll see you in the next video.